Compressors are an essential component of any audio toolbox. They are among the most adoptable pieces of audio equipment capable of doing both complicated and simple tasks. Most times we get really excited about compressors and we apply them to every track. Hey, there is nothing bad about that. Music is about creativity after all. There are no rules as long as it sounds great. The flexibility of compressors outperforms all other components of an engineer's setup in terms of dynamic control, coloring and mixed glue, showing their significance to the whole setup. However, the way digital and analog compressors work are different despite both having similar parameters. This makes it very difficult for users to select the right equipment for the job, particularly when it comes to digital compressors. Analog compressors, on the other hand, have various circuit configurations that make certain versions more suitable for specific applications than others. As a result, selecting the best plugin for the job can be a difficult task for many. The challenge, however, is to guarantee that one thoroughly knows the nature of compressors and their functionalities. So, in this video, I'll be showing you my top 10 picks of the best compressor plugins on the market. Before we get into it, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to this channel. When PSP Audio were made the Vintage Warmer 2, they created a multifaceted collection of plugins. The Vintage Warmer 2 is a wonderful compressor for mixing and mastering with plenty of analog saturation, thanks to three modes of operation and exact simulation of analog equipment. The first mode, which is the micro warmer, has controls for speed, release, drive, low, high, knee, and output. This mode, with the inclusion of the shelving EQ section, can be used for tone shaping while also providing a scaled back CPU friendly compressor. The second mode is a direct replacement for the original vintage warmer. It tries to maintain minimal latency while also including brick wall limiting multi-band compression, frequency selection for the EQ shelf, and additional release options. The fat mode is the third option. This option instructs the plugin to twice sample incoming audio for more authentic analog sound. The plugin has become really popular for its behavior when overloaded. PSP intended for the Vintage Warmer 2 to show tape-like features when subjected to overloading. As a result, the plugin is extremely beneficial for polarization, saturation, and of course, compression. The FET76 is described by Arturia as a legend resurrected for the 21st century. This amazing compressor plugin is a near-perfect reproduction of the original hardware with a variety of strong yet subtle characteristics that make it a great choice for the modern studio. Among these features is the side chain control which is fairly advanced in comparison to other compressor plugins. It provides users with access to a mid-side processor that enables customized sound processing as well as an SSL-style equalization. Furthermore, it possesses time-warping powers, allowing even little pre-delay extensions to go unnoticed. Also worth mentioning is the Output Input Link button, which allows you to keep specific volume settings while increasing the input. As a result, users can keep the level stable while still hearing a compressed sound. These features, when combined, make the Arturia FET76 one of the greatest compressor plugins on the market. The SoftTube FET is one of the best compressor effect plugins owing to its FET circuit, which enables for fast release and attack times. It also has release potentiometers and a backward attack, giving users greater tweakability. It's a bit complex, so take your time learning it. Alternatively, you can just crank up the compressor knob, as most of us do, until it begins to sound as fat and warm as you like. This tool has ratio settings, gain, and a threshold, in addition to parallel compression. When it comes to integrating compression into your mix, parallel compression outperforms an auxiliary track. The low-cut sidechain switch on this plugin makes it even more functional in a mixing setup. The URI 1176 is one of the most well-known hardware compressors on the market. It has very quick attack and release timing thanks to its FET circuit, and it is notorious for having backward attack and release potentiometers. Waves Audio didn't skimp on these functions, leaving the knobs exactly as they were while developing this plugin. The controls of an analog 1176 are mirrored on the interface of this plugin. 
If required, the plugin allows the addition of analog hum at 50 or 60 Hz. Depending on the revision style you choose, you will have access to totally different characters in the CLA76. Because of its quick attack and release, this compressor is ideal for transient heavy source like percussions. The CLA76 punch on drums is ideal for when you require huge drum sounds. If you're looking for the sounds of the real Uride 1176, the Waves CLA76 can help you get started with presets by Chris Lord Algae. You'll definitely feel right at home if you're used to the hardware previously. The Native Instrument VC2A has a sidechain input, a low-cut detector and an automated release and attack. These are some of the prominent features that make it one of the finest compressor plugins out there. To round off the package, it features a slow to medium reaction rate, allowing users to create natural sounding mixes. Because of its simplicity, this electro-optical compressor is popular among new audio engineers. It features two of the most fundamental compressor settings, peak and gain reduction. Dialing in the optimal structure is quite simple. The gain reduction is used to regulate the degree of compression, whereas the peak reduction controls the threshold. When the signal is at its peak, the LED generally shines brightest, but a very weak signal merely causes it to glow on a regular basis. Isotope has built a great reputation for itself when it comes to audio restoration and mastering. The RX and Ozone Suite tools are second to none for crucial audio work. The dynamic plugin in Ozone 9 stands out for its precise control and a plethora of options. The first feature that distinguishes this plugin is its ability to combine the functions of a quality limiter with a quality compressor. Fine tuning the sound of your mixes and masters with this degree of precision ensures that your final mix will sound exactly as you planned. Its primary function is to serve as a mastering compressor, therefore it includes mid-side processing sophisticated metering, and configurable look-ahead durations. The detection filter feature on the Ozone 9 Dynamics allows for even more control over how the incoming signal affects the compressor's detection algorithms. The signal can be tuned to have a greater or lesser effect on the compression being used by using high-pass and tilt modes. Also, other valuable features like the LEN mode can be used to determine where the crossover points for multi-band mode are located. Because of its strong capture of the actual sound source, SoftTube TLA 100 is a popular choice for bass placement as well as vocals. It is a dependable solution for anyone searching for a compressor plugin that performs equally well on all types of audio signals. However, its main strength is its simplicity which contributes significantly to its status as one of the finest compressor plugin options on the market today. Because its operations are highly reliant on its programming, this plugin makes the vast majority of critical mixing decisions on its user's behalf. However, when pushed to its limit, it creates some mild distortion. Its saturation knob which allows users to blend in the appropriate amount of distortion to the audio contributes to its simplicity of usage. Engineers have used a stereo compressor on their master boards for a variety of reasons. When mixing into a compressor, engineers are frequently seeking for additional glue or a certain coloring. One of the most famous examples is the compressor from the master section of the SSL 4000G console. This emulator can offer you the tone of those boards for vintage coloring and the glue effects of this iconic console, thanks to Wave Audio and SSL. To improve on the realism of the original, Waves incorporated modeled analog hum from the SSL 4000G for more coloring capabilities. This plugin is most commonly used for master bus compression, but it also works well for tightening up drums or piano. You really should use the Waves SSL G master bus compressor if you need something to add glue and shine to your mix. The FabFilter Pro C2 offers those who are looking for that one compressor that can do everything they need and even more. This compressor packs 8 compression character styles, mid-size control, 4 times over sampling, look-ahead gain reduction, and the ability to affect each channel independently or linked as a stereo pair with the stereo link control in one of the most incredible plugin interfaces. The Pro C2's 8 compressor settings allow it to bring color to your mixes, 
Its second version includes five new modes, vocal, mastering, boss, punch, and pumping, allowing you to get personalized results based on what you're working on. The metering on this plugin will be appreciated by mastering engineers. This meter size and accuracy are really good, and FabFitter has adjusted the Proxy 2 to comply with the EBU R128 loudness standard. When you combine this with the 4 times oversampling and GPU acceleration, you get a precise plugin. There are a few hardware compressors that are studio legends. The Teletronics LA2A is one of these legends. The LA2A is an optical compressor with a tube output stage. It has become popular for its warmth and character, which can be heard on numerous songs thanks to its slower attack and release timings and tons of fuel. Universal Audio, the current maker of the Reissue gear, decided that just recreating the iconic compressor would not be enough. They took it upon themselves as part of the UAD plugins to model all of the renowned sounds in the Teletronics LA2A. Most typical applications for the 2A as optical compressors are instruments with less transient and vocals. This type of compression is often used on bass and vocals, both for its smoother gain reduction and in the case of the LA2A for the warmth of the tube output stage. The compressor is available in three variants in the plugin. The LA2 has the lowest attack and release, as do many 1950s compressors, but the gray and silver variants have a medium fast attack and release for a more usual response similar to the renowned old LA2As. There aren't many controllers, just like there aren't many pieces of gas. There are controls for output gain and peak reduction, as well as the option to alter metering and switch between limiting and compression. If you think this video has been helpful, please like this video and consider subscribing to this channel. Also remember to turn on your post notification so you don't get to miss anything. Thank you.